Welcome to Board Game Empire. Today we're going to be doing Half Flame Playthrough with Enigma Beyond Code. Okay, so we're doing the two player variant, which pretty much indicates you will be uh, only using five cards at first, and through when you play your first game, you will be, um, after your first game, you look at page 11, and that will determine which characters are removed and which character are introduced. Um, so the first five characters that we will be playing with are the two decryptors, the Dark Messiah, and the Wanderer. So for the two-player variant. So this is like a hidden, um, pretty much you're trying to figure out where uh, each room is, and that helps you in winning. Uh, there's nine rooms. Um, there's the library, the NIMA code, the radio center, the teamwork, uh, there, let me put that there, the teamwork, the fear and bomb, uh, Shimmer's Phantom, and NIMA machine. And each room do different things to determine on if you um, fibbed or told the truth. And so it allows you to pretty much use the power of that room. Um, so there's also the five character cards that you'll be able to use, the decryptors, um, the dark messiah and the wonder for the two player variant. Those are five characters you'll be using first. There's pretty much, um, it shows, it shows six rounds, but it's not six rounds technically. Um, when you first start out, you start out in the round one and the dark moon, and then you go one, two, each time it, it goes to your turn, three, four, and then that's the last round. So technically it's like four rounds per game. Um, you go play a game of three and determine who wins. Uh, you will be taking notes. There, there is provide notepad, which you could pretty much uh, write down, but there are cards that will switch the order of the, of the rooms. Uh, there's silence tokens. These are, look okay, right here. Here, let me show you. Um, there's the decryptor, which you will have to obtain for some of the characters, like the, let's see, the decryptor, um, and that's pretty much it. Okay, then there's the, the chaos token, which the Dark Messiah, Messiah uh, needs to have to win the game. Um, let's see, you also, the medium cannot have, or they won't win. There's the victory to uh, token. So that's one, two, I guess you're playing a three player game. So, and then this is the, oh, I forgot what this is. Do you remember? Oh, chaos uh, breakthrough. If yeah. that one wins, then you go to the second one. Then when it's the second one, both of you lose. So one, two. Okay, so we're just gonna go through each room. Uh, the library. Okay, so the library lets you pick another face uh, down mansion card, depending on the icon, in the upper right corner, take the crypto or chaos token. Then the, the second room is the Nima code. You don't have chaos token, do nothing. You have chaos token, pick another face down mansion card. Then you have the radio center, reveal another face down mansion card. There's the teamwork, view other player's character or another player take or discard uh, chaos token. Then there's the tomb of order and chaos. First time advances one slot forward, then reveal another face down mansion card. Then there's the command room. Pick another face down mansion, do nothing. Fear and bomb, you don't have any chaos token. Take the crypter token, you have chaos token. Discard chaos token. Then there's a uh, sure and phantom first. Take or discard chaos token. Then you may exchange character with any other player. In a two player game, you may take new characters from the character stack. Then there's a Nima machine. Any player clockwise may cancel both a Nima machine's effect by discarding chaos tokens. First time, retreat one slot backwards. Then shuffle a Nima machine with two other machine cards of your choice and put them back face down. Okay, so for, let's see, the decryptor, 
the first, this is the characters that you'll be obtaining. Uh, so the decryptor, you're going to want a decryptor. The, you're also going to want to figure out where the command room and NEMA code are. The Dark Messiah, you're going to want the token, the chaos token, and then you're going to want to figure out the radio center and NEMA code. The medium, you're going to want no chaos token, but you want to figure out the Schrodinger or Phantom, uh, identify a character with chaos, and you have to name the character. Uh, the Wanderer, pretty much uh, you're going to want the mansion cards. You're going to want to know where the Tomb of Order and Chaos Library and Teamwork is. The Archivist, you're going to want to know where the library is, first of all. And then you have to reveal four face-down cards one by one. The Saboteur, time expires, so has no silence token. The Ghost cannot win. First, you execute one of the effects of Sherman Phantom, reveal yourself, peek at three mansion cards, and put back face down in any way you like, remove ghosts from the game, take another random character, instead of second effect of Sherman Phantom. Okay, so that's pretty much um, everything about the game. Um, now, with the uh, if you do have a face up card, you can't activate that too. You don't have to pick a face down card. So that's one aspect of the game that you need to know. Uh, and you will be taking notes. So we're just gonna, I think I covered everything, right? Yeah. Okay. So. We'll go first. We need a timekeeper. Uh, first we'll need, let's see. Oh yeah, we need to do our characters. Okay. That'd be funny if we both got to the same, like the decryptor or Dark Messiah. Okay, so. Okay, so I have the timer, so I'll go first. Yeah. Okay, so this is the Sherbury Phantom. I don't think you're lying. Okay. Actually, wait. Wait. Yeah, I think you are lying. I think I'm lying. Okay, so pretty much I get to pick a uh, phantom. I guess so. Yep. Okay, your turn. Okay, your turn. Oh, you didn't move the time up. Oh, yeah. It should be up there. Okay. Let me check on something. So let's see the second effect. First gonna turn around. Okay, shuffle over to create. Simply swap two characters and the effect is execute. Try one of the two characters, so side place your face down, face up. If you choose to expand them again, take the remaining character and shuffle. Okay, mission cards changes. Okay, that's all enough. Okay, so should I find take or discard chaos token? So I grab the chaos token. And then I get to, pretty much the player aid helps you in every aspect of this game. So you may exchange characters with another character, another player. In a two player game, you may take new characters from the character pack. So. You gonna take a new one? Uh, no, I'm not gonna take it. I'm just gonna do the ability of Servius Phantom and I'm just gonna get the chaos token. Okay. Okay, so uh, now it's my turn. Now it's the second. Decide you might want to grab that. Oh yeah. Okay, so well right. Just in case I know where it was before it moves if it gets moved. 
Okay. So I said that this is the teamwork. You're, you're lying. You just want to see what character I am or discard my chaos. Nope. Really? Yep. Yeah, so you're silenced. Uh, weren't you already silenced? Did she said that? No, I took my turn really fast. I just peeked at this card. Okay. So are we on second or third? I think we're on second, right? Yeah. Okay, so you're silenced. Uh, let's see, I have the teamwork. So teamwork, you view other player's character or another player takes or discards chaos token. I say you discard your chaos token. So now you're the dark messiah. Okay, so it's your turn. You need to call it. No, I just peeked that because I'm silenced. Oh, okay. Did you see what I was? No. Okay. Okay, so let's see. Uh, Enigma machine. I don't think you're lying. Okay. Oh, wait, you didn't move the time up. Oh, uh, yeah. But it goes back down because of the Enigma machine, anyway. Yep. Okay, so I pretty much have to show them because we're doing a two player game, so. Okay. Actually, I didn't have to because we are playing a two player game. So I kind of messed up on that one. <laughs> well, now we all know it's a Nigma machine. All right. It doesn't help you because you're the Dark Messiah. Okay. That activates Serbia's Phantom. Oh, you already moved it back, didn't you? Mm hmm. Yep. I'll move it back. Oh, I have to shuffle with two cards. Oh. So, is it my turn? Yeah. Okay. Radio center. I don't think the line. Okay, review another face down matching card. So I need to reveal it, so that means I need to flip it, sounds like. Yep. Okay, so I'm at Dark Messiah. Token, Chaos, Radio. No, you lost. Wait, wait, you moved it? Yeah. You moved that one? No. These were the three that I, you can't keep looking. Oh, okay. Because I still can win. Okay. Yeah, it's the end of my Yep. Oh. So he's out. Okay, so. Okay, so. Oh, wait, no, Enigma Code, that is it. That is it. What? Uh, no, wait, Thorpe saw you do need the Enigma Code. Never mind. Yeah, but you said that was the radio center. Oh, I meant Enigma Code. Yeah, well. <sighs> okay, so. It's my last chance. Okay. Let's see, I need, okay. Library. Ah. 
It's over. Game's over. Well, like, library, I can... What can I do with the library? Take a decryptor or chaos token. So I'm going to take the decryptor. And I'm going to... Yes. Guess. I just need the command code, or command room, and name my code. So I won the first one. Wait, what was this one? No, I would have won if I said it right. No, I would have won. I misworded it. Yeah. Ah. Okay. So, put these back. So player, pretty much the player A is very helpful in this game. Um, you get to go do the, I'll shuffle these first, make sure that the characters are removed. Okay. And because I won, I have to look at the two player variant. Okay, so it starts here because it's my turn. Yeah, wait, we gotta pick characters. Oh, yeah. Okay, so with the two player variant, since the decryptor won, you remove his or her card from the game. If the saboteur is still outside the mansion, add it. So we remove the decryptor and we add the saboteur to our list of characters that are we're able to obtain. Okay, pick a character. Okay, so this is for away from the game, the sub, the decryptor that won. Um, okay, so it's my turn, so it moves up here. Yeah, you go first. Fear and bomb. Let's see, fear and bomb. You may choose token. This card chaos. Choose token. I think you're telling the truth. Okay. Okay. Take that. Put that to me. Okay, my turn. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um. If I said it in a different order to Dark Messiah, I would have won. Fear and bomb. So we know that it is it because we already saw it and I saw it, so. Okay, your turn. Okay. Library. Um, I think you're lying. Oh, yeah. So I guess silence. So, he got another face down Manson card in the upper right corner, take the Eclipse and or Chaos. Okay. So, my turn. Uh, let's see. I like didn't move it up. Gotcha. So. I say it's a name my code. I I don't think you're lying, especially because you don't have the chaos token, so I wouldn't even help you. Okay, your turn. Make sure I move the thing.
Cerberus Phantom. I think you're telling the truth. Okay. Let's take our discard though. Then we'll do. You may exchange players. You may exchange. Okay, I'm not gonna do any building. Alright. I'm almost up. Teamwork. I don't think you're wait. I think you're lying. You're silenced. So let's see. Teamwork. View other characters or another player takes or discards chaos token. Discard chaos token. What do you mean? You won't Oh yeah. I'm silenced. Okay. Your turn. You gotta move the timer. I lost. Okay. You gotta pick one. You have to look at one though. You can't show me. Okay, I looked at one. Okay, so it's my turn. Alright, so we both might lose. I guess there's one more game. Okay, I am gonna guess. We go with you. I have no choice. We have like New Year's equipment there. Well, alright, where's the. I need my code. Here's a new my code. Wow. And I have to figure out the command room. Oh, wait, I have a win. Okay, command room. Whoa! No! <laughs> I knew what command room was. Right here. Yep. So we both lost. Oh. So we are at one. Oh, I would have won last game if I had set in the right order. That makes me so mad. <laughs> I lose because of that. Okay, so, so far... But we need to take this back. Put this there. Oh. Let me put this back. Can you put yours back too? And the win. Okay. And since uh, I start the timer, since no one, we didn't win, so you pretty much keep the same characters, it looks like. Yeah. After four more games, uh, one through times, and the two chaos breakthroughs has not happened. Okay, so yeah. Here you go. Okay. So my turn first. Um, let me erase, make sure I erase it. Oh yeah, definitely want to make sure you erase everything. Okay. Um, let's see. Why oh, do you have to look at it? <laughs> Hmm. Fear and bomb. <laughs> I think you're lying because you have a look at it. You sure? <laughs> yeah. You're right. So I'm silenced. <laughs> Why would you give it away like that by looking at it? Okay, your turn. What was that? Enigma machine. No, I think you're telling the truth. So we reduce time and we suffer it with two other cards. Okay. With two other mansion cards of your choice. That one and that one. Alright. Okay, now we suffer them. In different orders. Okay, so I can only look, I can't say anything. All right. Enigma 
Color Code. Do you think I'm on? Yeah, I think you're lying. Mom! There's silence again. Okay, so I'm silenced. My turn. It doesn't even do anything for me. Alright. Um, do you think I'm lying? No. Okay, I take the corruption token. Because I don't have a chaos. Okay, my turn. Yeah. No, I'll take a decryption, it says. Oh, decryption, okay. Fear and bomb? Yep, you're not lying. I literally just look at that one. Okay, so I get the decryptor and I'm Wait, gonna... you said that you're for decryptor. <laughs> I am gonna win the game. What? Decryptor. Okay, I have the decryptor. So here's the command code. <laughs> I mean, a name code. You lost! No, here's a name of code. And here's the command room. No! Hey, you said it wrong. You said command room on this one. Well, there is no command code, so <laughs> I didn't say it right anyways. So it's like name code. It's because I was thinking I was combining that with that because I, those are two I had to get. That's, I also combined that with that. I was one. No, you didn't. You didn't combine any. You said it was a radio center once it wasn't the radio center. <laughs> okay, well, we won. Yeah. Okay, so I won two. And we actually almost lost the whole game by pretty much getting the second one. So, but that's how you play. It's a quick game, uh, especially for two players. We play quite, we play three three player games. Uh, they do take a lot longer, probably like 30, 40 minutes. The two players seems like each round takes, actually the, well, the last game we played with three players took probably what, like 40, 50 minutes. So, yeah, but this game took, it was quite quick, probably like 20, 30 minutes. So the two players are a lot quicker than three players. So great game. And it's kind of hard to figure out. Um, there's many different strategies you could go because you kind of bluffing to try to get your, your, uh, your decryptor or your chaos. Uh, you also could use the face-up cards to get them. So don't forget to do that. Uh, we had a tendency to forget that, um, but just great game. Uh, we will have a link for the game, and if you like this video, please like, subscribe. Our social media is down below in the description, and we we are doing a giveaway, a big giveaway for Christmas. We have almost 20 games. Um, we also have our current giveaway on Board Game Co. Co. Not dot com uh, or Board Game Empire. Dot Co. Um, but just great, great uh, game. And if you like this video, please subscribe. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye.